yeah, let's go over the, the patch notes as well for the for the people that didn't get to see them. Honestly, I have no idea what they're doing, but they haven't made any announcements at all. Nothing on the Discord, nothing on their Twitter, nothing. So I just booted up the game and this pumped up. News announcement, new features, we got translations which are very really nice, media tips which are pretty basic, we've seen them, it's like combine two pets, you get level up, stuff like that, and an option to show achievements for the in-game pack overview, which is really nice, it's this actually. Achievements, there you go, you can see which ones you've already got, this actually looks pretty neat, we've got the dice here as well, looking pretty good. Oh, the game tips as well, pets with higher attack will trigger their ability before other pets with the same trigger type. We've only got follow home. Okay, pets do not keep upgrades to attack, health, experience, and health that are gained during battle. Pets have a maximum attack and health value of 50. Pets sell at one low for each level, and that's it. Okay. Oh, does this look different? Continue with not turn one? I don't think so. A pop up whenever you unlock an achievement. Oh, I've seen this in the test build. It's actually pretty nice. An option to show confirmed prompt before merging pets. So, <laughs> this, this will. Um, this will prevent so many mistakes, man, but I really don't wanna I really don't wanna enable this. <laughs> Sorting your fillers to achievements, randomize import export and search for custom packs, which is incredible. I can finally just copy paste the pack instead of having to make the pack one unit one unit by one unit. Basically it's gonna be gonna gonna make versus uh, versus day so much easier to play. Well, let's changes, let's see. They forgot to mention the new UI changes. We've got stars instead of levels. The font for the numbers looks different. And new in fight team name boxes. Crow Brown said Castle I am really disappointed they only made change to these three units, but hopefully the new uh, new expansion, whenever that's gonna be a thing, will make some balance changes to the rest of the um, units as well. That's been the case for uh in the past pack as well, so hopefully it will happen this time around as well. Let's see, Crow ability to sell a replay shop with chocolate. One chocolate that gives 1, 2, 3 XP. Well, it's finally what leveling it up, but usually you just buy it and sell it, so... Mm, I guess if you get two crows in the same shop or one early crow, you can uh, you can try to get it level 3. Mm. It doesn't have the best stats, but it's got okay stats for you to keep it if you get an early I guess. My said ability to sell the next sell. The next one, two, three rolls are free, which is very nice. Instead of rolling your shop automatically, you now have charges, which is incredible. I've uh, I've used this on the test server and even if you do not use a roll and uh, end the round, you, you still keep the free charge for the next uh, shopping phase, which is very nice. Yep, mommy said I actually is uh, worth leveling it up now. That's good. I mean, it was a decent unit as well, because you basically had a free roll whenever you sold it. If you use it correctly, I guess, but still. A free roll is always nice. Change castaway ability to entering. If you have at least one strawberry pet, gain plus one, two, three stats. Well, I don't think too many of you are familiar with the castaway, and I am not either, but I looked it up and it used to be. You needed one strawberry unit at level 1 and it gained plus 1-1. One, one. If you leveled it up to level 2, you needed two strawberry pets, and at level 3, you needed three strawberry pets to gain the 3-3 three, three stats, otherwise, you would have just gotten the, 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 lower, uh, the lower buff. Let's see, Bug Fang Stagger no longer doubles health with abilities, which is incredible. It definitely used to be abused a little bit with the 1 up and stuff like that. I'm really happy it's not a thing anymore because it definitely should not have been a thing. I really wonder if it worked with like the rest of the food. Like, would it was it doubling the stake twenty damage? Was the stake dealing forty damage with the tanger? Probably not, right? No, because it's not a, an ability. Probably only worked with one up, honey maybe. <laughs> Stuff like that. That's that's probably it. Other changes. Rewarded repeats X times to trigger X times. Okay. And abilities are now checked for conditions when they are supposed to activate instead of when the trigger happens. Okay. First time I read this on the test build, I was pretty confused about it, but after playing a couple of games on the test on the test build with this change, I've um, I've realized that it's actually pretty impactful. Basically, well actually the only thing I've observed about it 
that it actually changes is start of battle abilities like if you have a 10 attack croc and it kills the 8 attack croc like the lower attack croc on the enemy team if it dies before it can actually use its ability then it won't use it basically like the way it always used to be and honestly the and i never really liked it but i got used to it even if a unit dies at the start of the battle it still used its ability and honestly, when I first uh, started playing this game, I really thought if a unit dies, then it shouldn't use its ability from the grave. But yeah, it actually changed. They actually changed it now, and I am really surprised. I really wonder if they uh, always wanted to do this. Honestly, I don't see a, a very good reason as to why change it now. It it should be uh, really impactful. Okay, new weekly pack. Let's see. Please. If there's a Flint Dragon, let there be a Ladybug as well, that's all I'm asking. And Beaver, Beetle, Chinchilla, already at a cricket for the Loyal Dragon. Loyal Dragon? For the Flint Dragon. Fish, Horse, oh, level 3 nobility. That's a new reward. Oh, also, we've got, did we already have these? The, the attack icon and the HP icon. Iguana, other pig, oh, and the gold icon. Cookie and Honey. Okay, well, no Flint Dragon, no Ladybug, no Mosquito, hmm, okay, looks nice, kinda, kinda standard-ish, a little bit. Some buy and sell units, other pig, uh, and other as well, okay, I think Cricket time, let's go. We can honey as well, for some horse plays, okay, let's see, tier 2, bat, dodo, elephant, flamingo, <laughs> what's up with the standard units though, frigate bird, raccoon, rat, Shrimp, Tabby, Dukan again, Cupcake, and Meatbone, and Pill. Oh, nice. Well, Dukan Meatbone is a thing again. Raccoon, Flamingo Pill, of course, and Pill. No Spider Pill plays this week. Bad Dodo, this could be something. Oh, weak icon as well. Yeah, the text boxes are definitely a little bit changed. They do look a little bit more organized, honestly. Okay, interesting tier too. Nothing too incredible going on. Wish we would have had a stork this week. We haven't had one in some time, but oh well, let's see if we have at least something for this elephant. Probably. Well, there, there has to be a blowfish, but let's see. Alvark, bear, capi, clownfish, tamarine, kangaroo, seagull, sheep, toad, wasp, and garlic pineapple, salad bowl. Well, seagull, sheep, toad. Good friends of the summon build, but we've got an artwork as well for the anti-summon team. We've got both bear and dirty rat in the in um in the pack already, so artwork is definitely gonna shine a little bit. Maybe we have like a hippo as well, it would be something to count in the mid-game summons. Let's see. So got a horse, yeah, exactly. Kangaroo, honestly, Kangaroo is a very big help for uh, for the mid-game rounds for the summon team. You just plop this behind anything with one summon and it's already a free 5-6 unit, which is nice. Well, we've got Wasp, but doesn't look like Wasp is gonna be too relevant. No Lollipop, so I don't think there's anything we can uh, make out of it. But yep, Toad for the weak summons hit hitting once, like Toad Sheep is all incredible. The two rams will benefit from the weakness. A tamarine, but nothing really to scale it too easily. Mm. Needed the giraffe for a, at least a cross hour or something. Not even cucumber and TSP for it. Not even apple, so yeah, tamarine is not gonna be too incredible this um, this game. This weekly, I mean. Oh, there you go. Anteater. First, uh, first tier 4 unit, so <laughs> even more summons. Bison, I hate it. Caterpillar. Oh, game plus one star. Well, actually, plus one XP. Chance, start the battle, transform into a butterfly, then copy stats on the strongest friend. How oh, nice. Dolphin, Dragonfly. Oh, yeah, we've got Bison, Dragonfly. So, level three strats are at its peak, of course. But, is there anything to get to level three easily? Mm, no guinea pig. That is Clownfish, if I remember correctly. Where is it? No, they would. No, I must have gone crazy. No, it's not in, not in this. Oh, no, it, it is, but it's still free. Okay. So, level up, give it plus two, plus two. Could make the rush level 3 strats. Get level ups on, on turn 5. Get a bison butterfly. Not butterfly, dragonfly. Could make it a real strat, honestly, with this, this little guy. 
Okay, let's continue. I like the dolphin. Can I snipe this, please? Lee can I snipe. Can I snipe some summon units, please? Oh, Hippo for the summon uh, counter is okay. Platypus? Well, okay. It's got absolutely no use. Oh, Mantis. Well, we do have a pill, so we don't need to use the Mantis for pill plays. But could it be a life? No. I. No, I don't think Mantis will uh, will be too powerful, at least so far. A lot of small weak units means the Mantis will uh, will die pretty easily. Mantis is very glass cannony. Starting out with 2 HP, it's not going to have too many chances. One sheep can just take it down easily. So, mm. Also, there's not many good units to kill as well with it. Like, no Blobfish, that's Ant, I guess, but that's like it. Nothing else. Kill a rat. Whale, or even summon, summon units, worm, okay, throw a random ass worm in the pack as well, why not? Watching cookie grapes, pear, well, there you go, that's the first real food for the worm, but I guess there's salad bowl as well, but no, it really sees salad bowl, worm, and goes, there you go, that's a food build this week. Okay, cow for the worm, okay, fox for the worm, okay, well, actually, there's nothing too interesting the fox can steal except for the salad bowl, which can't hit the worm, but that's like basically it. But it's not. Oh no, that spell. That spell. That one could be catastrophic. <laughs> okay, hyena, lionfish, strong abilities, monkey. Oh god, monkey, moose. Oh man, the scaling. I know, seal, shark, zebra, cavet, steel, sushi. Holy hell, what? Wow, this this weekly just took a quick turn, man. The the food bill is definitely alive. Never mind, it's got three tier fives to make up for it. Carrot, stew, and sushi. Oh man. Also, zebra is incredible for anything. 2 plus 2 plus 2, really, for like only 2 gold. It's amazing. Shark Mantis, of course. Why now for hopefully some good uh, anti summon plays? Monkey Moose, which are disgusting. I really wish we didn't have them, but it's okay. <laughs> well, yeah, that is one, uh, one crazy tier 5. Okay. How do you feel about this weekly? Well, looking nice, looking nice. We have snipes, we have summons. Which means the summons are gonna be <laughs> pretty comfortable. But no turkey, no turkey so far, no stork. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see what Teal Sings has in store for us first though. Alpaca, Covilla, Hammer Shrike, Leopard. But still Snipe, I think. Lioness, Mammoth Pill, Mammoth Mantis. Actually, that's pretty nice. Reindeer, Snake. Ooh, we haven't used the snake in so long. Happy to see that actually. Tapir, Tapir pill, I love it. Walrus pill, I love it. Chicken leg, melon, and steak. Okay, pretty good for the food build. Melons are always nice. And steak for the some summon builds, but okay. Nothing incredible for, uh, for the summon team. It is very mid game oriented. After that, it just falls off. I really think food build will work. Or just monkey moose, get, get either one of them and then. Just get anything from tier 5, tier 6, get a Gorilla Leopard, you scale them, you win. Even Ranger is nice. Yeah, this weekly is looking neat. I am honestly pretty curious to see what uh, what the mid game strats will be, but I think they're just gonna be summons. We've got a lot of summons with Toad, Seagull, Meatbone, Tukan, Meatbone, Arvark. That could be like the, the second mid game build, definitely actually, with Bear and Rat. It's definitely gonna work, especially because people will use the summon units because there are so many of them. 